Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps project and in today's video, we are going to talk about the VM setup. So in this video, we'll discuss about how to set up your VM, what is what are, what are all the software that you need. I think we have already installed that, but we're talking more on the architectural side. All right, so we'll do the demo. Before moving on in this video, I would like to request that if you have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So let's start. Okay, so let us understand what is the first thing. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is about the code. Yes, today we are starting the real video in which we'll talk about the code that we are going to use it over here. And what is about the code? We'll set up the VM. In this VM, we are going to set up a lot of things. For example, multiple VMs for our, uh, for our web applications, for our memcache, for our database. We're going to set up that, all right? Okay, so the next thing we are going to talk about is Vagrant. Now, what exactly is a Vagrant? What exactly is Vagrant? Then Vagrant is something we use to provision VMs. You can do it through a UI, but we won't do that because as a DevOps, one of the things that you need to keep in mind that you don't have to do everything with a UI. You can write a script, you can write uh, something related to automation so that you can write, uh, you can execute it and create a VM out of it, create an infrastructure out of it. And that's what the need of IAAC, which is infrastructure as a code. So Vagrant is one of the example. We'll talk about that. After that, we have to install two plugins in that. First would be host manager and second would be VBGS. Now these two plugins have their own importance because if you do not install first of it, this host manager, your VM can cause some issues. So you have to install it. VBGS depends if, if the VM is causing some issues, then you have to install it. I'll give the command for both of them. So do not worry about it, all right? And then we'll test the setup. Now testing the setup means we'll test the setup by, we'll try to ping from one machine to the other machine so that we can be very much sure that if the application is going to talk to the other VMs, the memcache VM, the DB VM, or the RabbitMQ VM, these are going to talk to each other. So we need to check the connectivity is not, connectivity is there or not. So we need to get this sorted, all right? So let's understand what exactly is Vagrant. Okay. So let us understand what exactly is Vagrant. Now, uh, whenever you provision a system, how do you do it? So what you do is you go inside, uh, you inside go virtual manager, virtual box manager, Oracle virtual box, uh, what you can say. And then you just click over something, uh, you give storage, you give VM name, and then you do it. So that's one of the ways of doing it. But as a DevOps engineer, I think you should learn automation. There are multiple ways to do it. There are multiple providers to do it. But in this video, in this particular course, we are going to use Vagrant for now. So let us talk about what exactly is Vagrant. So consider, for instance, there is something known as VM. Okay. Now this VM is what we have created through multiple things. Okay. So let me consider three things over here. So one could be something which is created through Oracle Virtual Box. Okay. Uh, I'll write it something like this so that you cannot forget it. And then something you have created by VMware. So VMware is another way to do it. Okay. And then there is another way you, you have some, some AWS, uh, not AWS, you can have OpenStack. OpenStack you have. So there are other ways. So this is VM. This is also a VM. I'll just give it VM2. I'll just give VM3 or I'll just give this VM1. Okay. So these are the VMs that you guys need to create. Now in this course, what we have to do? we have to create a few VMs because in this course, what we are going to do is we're going to create a VM for our application. Okay. We're going to do it for our web. Uh, we're going to do our sorry for, for memcache. Okay. We are going to do for DB as well. Okay. And so on and so forth. We're going to do that. But if we start doing it manually, uh, it'll just delay down the process. So for that, we have something known as Vagrant. So I'll just write it over here. So let's say we have Vagrant for that. Okay. Please don't mind my handwriting because it's kind of tough to write with this pen. Okay. So in this Vagrant, there is something known as Vagrant file. Okay. And this Vagrant file has all the information of all the VMs that we are going to create. So if there would be a VM one, then it would contain the OS, what OS we are going to use. It would contain what, are, what is the image that we are going to use? It would contain the RAM. It would contain the storage and so on and so forth for VM1. Similarly for VM2 and similarly for VM3 and so on and so forth. Depends on the number of 
VMs that you guys want to create. Okay, so this is a Vagrant file. So this is one of the important things. So I'll just mark it in red. One of the important things that we are going to discuss today as well. I'll show you an example so that uh, it you doesn't there is some retention. You doesn't lose the concept. Okay. Now what happens is when when you type a command Vagrant up. I'll show you that Vagrant up. If you remember in the past video, we have already installed it. Vagrant up. It will start reading this file this vagrant file and start spinning the VM whatever the information is written in this file it gets translated thus it creates the VM so for example it will create the VM so let's say we have given three information in Oracle VirtualBox uh, let me close this let me close this so it will start creating the VMs out of your vagrant file now this is something known as uh, this is a background file. So it, Oracle VirtualBox is a default provider for this Vagrant. Uh, you can use VMware as well. You can use OpenStack, AWS, Azure Cloud as well. But by default, it is Oracle VirtualBox. And we are going to use that only in that in, in this course. OK, so what the, what happens is Vagrant, this Vagrant talks to the talks to these VM. OK, talks to these VM, which VMs? these VMs, this VM and this VM. So all the VMs, Vagrant is going to talk to the VM and what does it do? It uses API, these VM exposes. So whatever these VMs we have created, this one VM, second VM and third VM, they are going to expose some kind of APIs. So these VMs will expose some APIs. So you need to keep that in, keep that in mind, expose some APIs. And through those APIs, Vagrant is going to talk to these VM. So do not worry about it. You just have to install VM uh, Vagrant and then you have to write a file. In this course, you won't write a file. I'm going to use a file which is already there. And I'll, I'm going to explain you that, but we are not going to write it from scratch. So do not worry about that. Okay, so this Vagrant is going to talk to it. You can automate through uh, automate through VMs, define stuff in there. So you have to define the stuff in where? This Vagrant file. This is one of the most important aspect. Okay, now uh, things can be done manually as well, which I which I've started this video with. Things can be done manually, but it will take a lot of time. And as a DevOps engineer, you started introducing IAAC, which is infrastructure as a code, in in your life because whenever you do that, you get a sense of automation. And in in DevOps world, as a DevOps engineer, you make lives of people easier. So tomorrow, if there is someone who comes in your project. And you have to explain okay these are the vms then he might ask you okay how do have you created it and then you'll say i have created through a ui but then it will be time consuming for him but tomorrow if you leave the company if you leave the organization or you move to some other project what you'll do you'll just pass on the vagrant file to him and say okay this is something which we have done and it is repeatable that's the keyword it is repeatable it is going to give you the same results each and every time if you run it so uh, that's one of the things that vagrant comes with all right so I hope you guys have understood this part. Uh, this is kind of important for you to explain because we are going to use Vagrant file in that. And if I would have run it that way without explaining, then it would have been cumbersome for you to understand. All right. So I think this is fine. Let's let's dive into the demo part. All right. So now what we have to do is what we'll do is we'll just right click over in our desktop. You can do it anywhere in the system. I'll just create a folder over here and I'll give it a name DevOps project. You can give it any name. I'll just give DevOps project underscore one. This is my first project. I'll go inside and I have to clone a repository. And the repository which we are going to use is this logic ops lab v profile project. Now, I do not own any rights to this project. I have just forked it. This is not 100% my work. I have done some changes, yes, but this is not 100% my work. And this is done by DevOps Hide HYD, which is I think Hyderabad is uh, a full form of it club v profile project so this is 100% credit to them so shout out to them whoever has created and made our lives easier i have just forked this project all right so once you have to do is you have to go over here uh, go inside this link v5 project or you can go to devops height club as well that's 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 okay fine all right so in my repositories, if you want to find it, all you have to do is you have to go in the logic ops lab, V profile. I think I have given in the description. You can check it out. Go to code, copy this, let's minimize this. 
you have to open a command prompt over here you can open powershell as well you can open a uh, git bash over here it does not matter all right so what we'll do we'll just open windows terminal over here you can open anything it does not matter what we'll do we'll just git clone and right click and hit enter and then it'll start the cloning part which is this this is a public repository so you don't have to worry about it everything is free of course so not worry about that so it is going to do that over here and once done we are going to go inside and understand what exactly is happening okay now we are here let me just uh, create a large icon for it oh it's extra large large icon for it let's go inside this and understand what exactly is happening so there are multiple things over here but you do not get confused what we'll do over here is we'll go over here we'll go in the project do an ls over here here's a directory cd v profile we are in the v profile now okay you can increase the size as well if you want i think it happens from tile or something anyway let's not talk about that right now now if we do git branch hyphen r what happens there are multiple branches over here all right one we don't have to do that we have to select which branch we have to select the local setup branch which is this so what exactly is the command and before doing that let me clear this before doing that what you have to do you have to check which is the branch we are in so get branch hyphen l which is for local we are in the master branch and we do not need it while let me explain so we'll do git check out and the branch name so the branch name is what was the branch name local i guess local set up let me just quickly check it again not sure get branch R. local 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 yeah local setup this one just copy this now type get check out paste it enter so switch to a new branch which is local setup perfect now what you have to do do an ls over here and you can see a vagrant file has come over here a jenkins file you can see vagrant not it's not a vagrant file it is src now if you'll go back to this folder you can see there is a vagrant folder of here over here uh, let me large icon over here vagrant then large icon over here there is manual provisioning over here right and there are two files over here let me large icon okay so this is a pdf setup that can guide you so you can just read through this and whatever you have to do uh, let me just cancel it okay this is something that you need to go inside you can read it and go through everything it has a lot of information you can just go through it this is the architectural diagram which is uh, created by uh, this club okay you can go through it if you want okay so if i'll record whole of the thing and explain this whole v file project setup in this video this would be quite long it'll it'll go till half an hour so i'll divide this video into two parts and this this is the first part of it and i'll upload in the second part Okay, so till here, if you have not understood anything, if there is any, any confusion, then please feel free to comment below in the comment section and we will address that. So thanks guys and I will see you in the next one.